This is a video about how to replace and upgrade the PCB uh, or circuit board inside any of the Origin Live uh, power supply regulators. First step is to remove the knob and we put in a, an Allen key here into the small grub screw inside the hole as shown. Uh, a few turns anti-clockwise, pull the knob off. Next step, remove the nut, and you need to be quite careful if you're using long no nose pliers here not to scratch the front plate at all. But just gently loosen it up and then just spin it off by hand. Okay, next we undo the four Torx bolts in the front panel. And you'll need a Torx spanner for this. We do supply one with the upgrade board if you get one. It's an actually, uh, if for any reason you need to do this and we haven't supplied you with the kit, then um, it's a T10 Torx spanner size. And there are a lot of these kind of multi-tool um, kits where you've got any number of sizes of Torx um, spanners in the kit. But uh, they'll all do the job. Okay, so that's the front panel removed now. The next stage is to remove the printed circuit board. And you'll notice that that is on upside down. Uh, the top of the box, you can always tell immediately because of these uh, kind of fluted uh, lines on the top face, which aren't present on the bottom, which has the feet, obviously. Printed circuit board is on up, is in upside down. Now there's a little trick here which is very important to remember. Always keep the switch pointed upwards like I have at the moment. If you point it downwards like that, you're going to lose a couple of rings on the, on the front and it's just tedious to have to reinstall them. So much quicker in the first place to make sure that you simply pull the switch out in the right orientation and just put it down, it'll naturally lie with the switch slightly angled upwards, okay, so the washers don't fall off. Now, if for any reason, and it's highly likely in the course of this event, that you do lose the washers and they do fall off, I need to show you how to reinstate them. Um, it's not the serrated washer that goes in first, it's the uh, small washer with uh, a tang on you, and that's a bit of bent over metal, um, which basically fits into the switch. It's a, a little kind of lug. And the way to fit this accurately is I'm going to turn the board this way up and the tang obviously is facing in because the switch has a series of little holes in the, around the perimeter. And you put the tang at the 12 o'clock position. That's the uh, vertical position, which is just here. All right, and then rotate it very slightly anti-clockwise and let it slot into the first hole that it comes to. That's it, that's gone on and then the straight washer follows on top and we're back to where we started from. Now with your, I'm going to turn that upside down because it then slopes downward. Now with your box, if you have the old style box you'll notice there's, there's some large holes cut out in the underside. That doesn't matter at all. Um, we can still use your existing box and the holes are completely irrelevant. But what you are, but the big change now is that when you come to adjust the box, then you do it through the rear holes here. And you'll need to fit a new rear panel if you've got the old style um, box, which has the holes in the bottom, fit the new panel, which we send you. Very easy to fit. I'm not going to do it here just to save us time. But you simply undo the four uh, uh, Torx bolts um, with the Torx spans provided. Fit on this one in the orientation showed. Two small centre holes to the top. That's the fluted side, exactly as shown in the video. And we're away. That's it done. Okay, now fitting the new board. Assuming this is the new board, okay, then you simply get hold of it and... We may have glued these on for you so they don't fall off, but if they have for any reason fallen off, but well normally actually they're fastened with a nut. So let's just put that on because the board will actually arrive as shown here 
with the nut holding those two washers on. They may or they may not be glued in. So first step is to undo the nut. Uh, installation is just a straightforward reversal of the uh, disassembly procedure. Okay, so let's just slide that in. Remember the board goes in upside down and it goes into the very top slot of the box. Okay, we just slide it gently in. At this stage, you need keeping the box up again, pointing upwards. Just check that the all the sockets have gone into the rear panel. Very often, like I have done just there, you need to just manipulate them a little bit so they slot in and they pop out the back. These two, where you'll just be able to feel that they're they're poking out of the rear. Okay, so all we need to do now is re reattach the um, front panel. Again, it's easy to get it the wrong way up, but just make sure that the hole for the LED, that's the green LED which you can see here, is in the right place here. If you just copy exactly what's shown on the video, you can't go wrong. Okay, so we simply pop that on. The green LED we can just feel poking through the front panel. Reattach the, the screws again. Okay, to save you time watching, I've reattached the four screws as you can see. Lastly, we're just going to fit the knob. So before we do that, we just must put on the switch nut. So you just screw that up. Just give it a, a very tiny nip tight with the long nose pliers. This nut does not need to be very tight at all, okay? If you, in fact, if you do it too tight, if you really welly it, you're going to cause damage to the switch, so um, leave that. Um, the switch, make sure that it's fully rotated anti-clockwise, as so. One, two. Always make sure it just goes two clicks to the right, uh, uh, clockwise. If it goes more than that, you'll need to re-put the tang that I explained in because it's not the tang is not in the right position so just do that again and make sure it, it all works properly okay the switch now in with the thing rotated fully anti-clockwise you put the switch on and that indent should be absolutely vertical to the box okay on the top so just check that it's all lined up there nicely and we simply re-tighten up the small grub screw in the bottom of the switch and that's it job done uh, of course as with all electronics it's going to take you a little while to run this in uh, it only starts to come on song really after about two days and you'll also probably need to readjust the speed of the motor because um, the electronics does take at least an hour to settle down fully it just burns the circuit and then it stays put okay well all the best and um, Thank you for watching.